Hello, my name is Ben, head wine buyer here at Cam Wine Company, and today I'm going to talk about climate. So, climate, if you think of it like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, it needs to be just right. So, when you're in a cool climate, you retain more acidity, you get more freshness, but there's certain things you need to remember in the vineyard. So you need to plant on better and healthier soils, so the vine actually produces, and you need to look after it a little bit more. When you move into hotter climates, you get an easier producing vine. And what you tend to need to do to stop it making leaves rather than grapes is plant on poorer soils. So they tend to be in arid soils uh, in hot climates. And the difference in styles is in the cooler climates you get this fresh acidity, things like the lovely Grunewaldina that we've got that retains all that beautiful crisp fruit. And in the hotter climates you get more intensity. So that's where you get richness of flavour, higher sugar levels. So if you like your full bodied wines, look at hotter climates. Um, but you can't go too far south. As soon as you start getting further south in the Northern Hemisphere or further north in the Southern Hemisphere, you start getting that kind of uh, really rich, jammy character. So vineyards will compensate by being planted on higher, uh, steeper aspects, so you get a degree cooler as you go up. Or they'll plant near waterbeds like lakes or the sea. And this helps to cool the vineyard as well. So grapes need the optimum temperature, but the cooler and longer you can stretch out the ripening process, the easier the decision is for the viticulturist or the winemaker to harvest at the right time when sugar and acidity are in perfect balance. So climate, really important, uh, and we've got some delicious styles for you to try. Cheers.